So I've been talking about it in my other reviews and I finally got it in. The Fly Digi Vader 4 Pro. So this is the limited edition Assassin's Creed version. I, go ahead and I'm going to give you a, a truth real quick. I might have played maybe 20 minutes of Assassin's Creed years, years ago. I just never liked the game. Uh, it was the only white version that uh, Fly Digi had for the Vader 4 Pro. So when I ordered it, I ordered mine on AliExpress. This is non-sponsored. Uh, maybe sponsored by my wife, but that's about it. But I ordered the cradle. So here's the cradle. Uh, these are separate. The controller does not come with them. It's a pretty hefty cradle. Uh, what I do like is it has two USB-C and USB-A on it. So you have two different ways that you can charge it, you know, for your plug-wise. What I don't like is it doesn't come with neither one of them on the cradle. So uh, that's all that comes in the box for the cradle box. Now, uh, for the Fly Digi, it comes with Manuel. Uh, it comes with your USB dongle. And, of course, the Fly Digi controller itself. So, I I have a video of the GameSir G7HE with the Hall Effect controller and joysticks. And I really did like that. The only thing it was, one thing that it was missing was the trigger stops. But, Fly Digi or excuse me, um, GameSir, their controller, the joysticks, after three days, turned this brown-yellow color. I'll leave a picture right here. And I contacted them, and they wouldn't send me no joysticks or nothing. They said that I dyed it. I have a white build. Everything I have is white around here, and <laughs> but yet I dyed it. But anyways, they let me down. So I actually I sent that I sent it back, especially when this one out here was released. It just took a little longer to come uh, off of AliExpress. It wasn't on Amazon yet. Uh, I've seen them on Amazon, and if I find an affiliate link, I'll leave it down below. Again, non-sponsored video. Uh, anything from the affiliates helps me buy products to give you honest reviews for your hard-earned money. All right, all that out of the way. The controller itself, it is for Nintendo Switch, for PC, Xbox, and uh, cell phones or tablets. So it does have a spot here that they do sell a cradle separately that you can hook up your phone to, and then your phone will sit right here on it in the cradle and play phone games. So it's just a little switch in the back. You have Nintendo mode, you have Bluetooth mode, and then you have uh, PC mode or the usb it says usb dongle mode because uh it's gonna be pc xbox for that one there so the controller itself again like i said one of the reasons why i wanted to go with this one is the um uh trigger effect for the hair trigger so you can push it all the way down and then whenever you push it up it just stops right there i can't push no more there's no more push now they are mouse clickies for here the Y, B, A, and X, they are also mouse clickies. And then the the D-pad, the D-pad feels mouse clicky as well, but that's it. No other buttons on here. So another thing that I really, really do like about the Fly Digi controller, which is similar to the Xbox controller. On the Xbox, it comes with a little tool where you can tighten the joystick. So... Fly Digi took it to another step further, and I really feel like it's cheating. I really do. I don't know if any of y'all remember uh, back in the PS3 era. Uh, it might have even been PS2, but I didn't get into... I didn't. My first console was PS3. But people would take rubber bands and paper clips around their uh, joysticks to make them tighter. Well, Fly Digi went a step further than that, and they put these in here, and they literally... They turn right here. I don't know if you can see it turning, but they turn... And this way, it makes it really loose. I mean, you just barely, barely touch it. And all the way to the other way, it makes that bad boy tight. I mean, it is tight. Uh, I mean, tighter the better for me. They could be probably a little bit tighter, but I like that. I really feel like it's cheating. Uh, 
because it's making it so tight and it keeps it keeps your thumbs where they need to be and it's not slopping around, which is nice. I really do like that. So other than that, uh, the triggers, if you look at the middle, or excuse me, the paddles, if you look at the middle ones, they're a little high right here. So whenever you're holding it, like my middle fingers, they hit. I wish that they were like Xbox and PlayStation Edge where you could take them off. Uh, they Some people don't like them, and they said they're still a problem. I don't know. I, this is my first Fly Digi. But they have uh, aftermarket mod kits that you can change them and change the way that they are back here. Me, personally, they felt just fine. Like I said, my fingers, every once in a while, they, they get into it a little bit. They could have brought them maybe a little bit closer in. Uh, the first thing I did when I got it is on my Nintendo Switch, I got on the Nintendo Switch last night and played some Mario. Very simple, easy. The minute you go into Nintendo mode back here, I mean, you go uh, to your setups and your settings, I mean, instant pair, instant pair. Uh, you can't take the faceplate off. The front is smooth. I thought that was going to be an issue, and then the back is um, it, it's textured. Saying I thought the smoothness was going to affect it, but when I got in gaming, I mean, it, it really doesn't. I thought my hand was going to slide around a little bit on it. Uh, well done on that that aspect. I really wish they had a white. I do like white. This is the closest thing I could get to white. It's just overall the feel of it feels good in my hands. And I'm not, again, non-sponsored. I'm not trying to upsell this or nothing. I just, I really, really have enjoyed this since I've gotten it last night. Uh, it's Friday night, and I'm ready to get to some game sessions tonight, get into some multiplayer, get into some search, and uh, kind of push it to its limits a little bit. Uh, again, I wish the faceplate, you could change them out. You can't. I'm just, I'm trying to find something negative about it. The only negative I really have is on the um, the charging dock. It didn't come with no cables. All right, let me get into the software and show you what the software is all about. All right, so here's the Fly Digi app. Uh, that you download you got four presets right here so underneath home let you know you know certain things going on vibration you got your button this is where you can um, add your uh, paddle buttons or your c and v button right here got your joystick again this is all for you to play around with it is a little overwhelming in here even for me so i got to play around with this so i already threw it on uh instant just in case, uh, or just for me to play around with tonight. Again, and then you click here. You got more. You need to make sure it's on 12-bit, 1,000 polling, and your joystick center sensitivity. That's for whenever you move your joystick, how fast it goes right back to center. Uh, for Especially for Call of Duty, you want to go back as fast as you, as you, you know, as it can. No gyro for me, but it does have gyro for any of those Nintendo Switch games or phone games. Unless you're just one of the ones that plays gyro. Uh, your trigger effects, I have mine turned down. Even though I have the switch on, I turn it down. I turn off all vibrations. So you got plenty of stuff. Any of these little question marks, all you got to do is hit it, and it'll tell you what anything is. Then you got your general, your light, how bright. Me, I don't like mine very bright. Turn that down. Uh, then you got your controller, and then you got your dongle version and your software. You just click it see if there's an update. So here... You test all your buttons, make sure everything's working right, which as we see, all my buttons are, are working, what needs to be working. Go next. And then you got your Switch mode. This is the settings you want for your Nintendo Switch. So come in here, play around with these. Again, this is going to be for your Nintendo Switch, what you want it to do while you're on the Nintendo Switch. All right, so I'm going to start my polling test. I'm going to do the uh, wired connection first. So I do have it at 12 bit. I have it at 1000 joystick on fast. I am going to be using uh gamepad uh, LA. Oh, excuse me. All right. So we're going to do 2000, 2000. So 98% accuracy. Of course, the one millisecond right there. Uh, polling rate was 989.7. Uh, Latency was 0 0.5. Average. Uh, it was 1.01, uh, maximum was 2.03, and my jitter was 15. That is incredible. So that's on the wired. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to actually plug in the USB so I can make this thing wirelessly. 
So now it's connected wirelessly. Again, I'm going to come into the joysticks, click here, make sure my polling's on a on a, a thousand, twelve bit. I'm going to close that down, reopen up um, GamePad LA. Again, I want, and there, if you notice, it's automatically detecting it as an Xbox controller. So no matter what, you don't have to run nothing else. This automatically detects as an Xbox controller. So 2000, 2000, 2000. Oh my, look at that. On wireless, with the dongle, I'm getting better performance on the dongle than I am direct connect. Look at that jitter went down. Uh, maximum latency went down. Average, the minimum, everything went down. I got to redo that. Okay, so it's like yes or no, no, no. No, yes, 2000, 2000. Look at that. Holy shoot. Look at the jitter. Jitter, I got the jitter. Wow. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, come on now. That right there, proof is in the pudding, right? All right, so what do y'all think of the Vader 4 Pro? I mean, I think it's one heck of a controller. I think for the offerings that are out there, uh, for the price point, again, you don't have to buy the cradle. I just, I bought it. You can just use a USB-C and still charge it. It's, it's just fine. But to be able to go from the switch to a cell phone, have a spot here for the cell phone holder. I just, again, non-sponsored video. I'm just, there's not, nothing that's pinging out to me that I don't like about this controller. I'm liking everything. If I had one complaint, it would be when you move your joystick, it doesn't, it feels like it should go a little bit further. But other than that, I mean, I didn't feel no difference in the gameplay. Shoot me, shoot me comments down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think the Assassin's Creed version looks like. Uh, I do believe it's showing up wider. Uh, it's actually more of a cream, uh, a creamish, like a cream to super light brown. I mean, the color scheme ain't bad. I just, I like, I like a white, all my stuff being white. But no, for the offerings out there, uh, Xbox controller is what, 50 to 80 bucks, depending on which one you get depending on the sale uh, versus this being, you know, 75 to 80 bucks, or if you get it like I did with a combo, uh, 115 uh, for the extra things that it has on here. I don't see that you can go wrong with this uh, Vader 4 Pro. If y'all haven't seen it yet, check out my review right here of the Fifine M9. It is one heck of a Lavinier wireless mic set. I mean, awesome for blogging, whatever else again, right here. And I'll catch you in the next one.